what it is what it do gorilla cruise your boy gorilla fan here and today we are playing some more solid stake all right today's video is going to be a little bit different i'm going to start doing this little series i'm going to call it let's talk about it so what we're going to talk about today in the video it's not going to be so much of the gameplay which is uh laggy oh i was on shanghai service not singapore i'm terrible in names i'm on i'm, on, I'm playing on shanghai pretty much um so pretty much what we're going to talk about today is I was looking at the comments on the first Solar State video. Oh, by the way, thanks so very much for that love support. All uh, people that checked it out. I hadn't posted Solar State in a minute. So everybody who checked it out, thanks again for uh, checking it out. And uh, the comments were, were a bit all over the place. So I'll address some to help people understand how to play this game and how this game works. So this isn't dbd a lot of people uh look at this game and like oh well you're a killer you're chasing um survivors so this is dbd you should play like dbd you know and this isn't that type of game this game is more of a mind game type of game it's not a a straightforward yes i'm trying to hit the cat i know we can't do it we explained that in the first video but i was just doing this for the lulls because She's a cat trapped in a room and no doors are open. It's just me and her in this room and the doors are closed. So she can't get out. So I can just keep turning into a cat, hit her down her, and come back to her. And for her teammates to save her, they have to open the door, which then I can trap them in the door. So it's a vicious cycle of nana and boo boo, stick head and doo doo. You know what I mean? So, as I was saying, this game isn't like DVD. It's not really so much of a chase as a killer as it's more of a mind game as a killer. Um, they haven't really watered down any of the killers from what I can tell. There haven't been too many, like, uh, nerfs to any of the killers. It's kind of like, this is the killer, learn how to play them. Um, so, the fact that survivors run away from you and just, you know, look back at you and run away and you can't catch them goes to that point, you know, because you do have a bell that's a stun, so it automatically gives you a hit. You do have a, a, an eye token that automatically tells you where everyone is on the map. As you see, I'm using now. Um, so if I can just run behind them and chase them, it kind of defeats the whole purpose of the entire game. Because, you know, you get in these great situations like, you know, she had no idea I was there. She was looking at something else. I was able to turn into a cat. The cat is so good because it's range, by the way. Turn people into a cat. Um, it's so good because of, of the range of it. Whenever you catch someone standing still, someone not paying attention, someone just running away from you in a straight line. Um, it, it's It's insane. Um, so that's to address the first topic. This is not DVD. My goal is not to chase someone and get pallet looped into a fan until they run out of pallets and I kill them. My goal is to hide and sneak up on people. The reason you can do that is because as in DVD, there's no direction on when they hear your heartbeat. They have no earthly idea where you are. Oh, I think this guy was AFK. I think he got mad. Um, so they don't know where you are. So I can literally be standing behind a wall. They not know where I'm at. They just hear my heartbeat. They can make the wrong move and then I can just kill them easily. What you'll see me do a lot uh, as I play is I'll get in their vicinity. They'll hear the heartbeat and I'll just be standing behind a wall because I can see their outline. They're outlined in red. I can literally sit there and watch them and see if they're going left or right. And I can place myself accordingly. And then, boom, one tap them, you know, and then wipe off my weapon, turn into a cat. Or if I'm playing another kid, if you watch some of my old stuff, the Prince especially, as in he can disguise his heartbeat. And I did a lot of good stuff with the Prince. So if you haven't watched any of my Prince gameplays, I'll link it at the end of the video. You guys can go check that out. Um, but that's how you play this game. It's not DVD. As you see here, I have two people here and I have a bell. So this is a double hit, you know. This isn't like DVD, one goes left, one goes right, I have to pick. No, in this situation, I can literally get both guys or both ladies uh, because of the fact they were together. I had a bell to give me a stun and Bada beam, bada boom. We got two hits, one down, and uh, the other one was getting away, which is fine. And I couldn't turn into a cat because I really couldn't get a straight line of sight. I'm trying to cut her off at the pass by teleporting the other totems. And we catch her over here with this guy. And now she's a cat. And she's down. So, anyway. So that was just uh, the first topic of one of the comments I had read speaking of, you know, the killer's stupid. This game is stupid. It's this, is that, it's the other. And it just let me know that someone didn't understand the difference between this game playing a killer versus DVD playing a killer. Um, so I hope that cleared it up for you. Uh, next is uh, someone has said, you know, whenever they play, they wait for 30 minutes, they play a game, then they die within three minutes. Um, 
I've have a couple of gamble games on the channel. I suggest you check those out. Also, I would uh advise that be a little bit more aware of your surroundings. Whenever you hear the music, kind of start moving away. Don't really wait and see what's going on. Kind of just move whenever you hear the music in your vicinity. Um, whenever you see the leaves on your uh, your card holder, immediately get out of there. That means the killer's teleporting to you. Because also, unlike DVD, with this game, you can't um, rotate your camera when you're doing a card holder. You can't look around you 360 when you're doing a card holder. Once you're engaged in the interaction with via the store or via a card holder, you have to hold that angle. You can't look behind you. You can't look around. This is just outplayed. Boom. Got him. Like I said, I can look look and see the entire map. Then I can just teleport to whoever I want. Hit, hit them with the double stun. Game over 4K, easy peasy. So I would, yeah, I would suggest doing those things. Um, whenever you run away from the killer, uh, as long as it's not the cat, run in a straight line, you just naturally outrun them. If you run backwards and to the left, you actually run faster. So that's another good thing you'll see. I'll have some gameplay of that later. Uh, I ran to a couple good players. Uh, the more I play on uh, the Shanghai server, the better the people get because I'm ranking up a bit. So I would suggest you do that. And uh, yeah, just play it like get used to it. I mean, I know the wait times playing on the American servers are, are pretty atrocious. So I would suggest playing on either um, Shanghai or Beijing. Both of those are really good servers as far as getting games. Change your name though to like a bunch of numbers and you stand a better chance of getting the game. Like just your, your regular, whatever your user handle is, you might not get a game. But if you change your name to like a bunch of numbers, for whatever reason, you can get a game faster. I don't know. People don't dodge you for some reason. I don't, I don't know. That's just how it works. I don't know. Don't. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> so uh, do that just to get some games. Probably just be teleport, I think. Um, another thing, somebody asked me, like, what's the point of the cat? So uh, the point of turning people into a cat is uh, it's actually the more I play her, the, the better it is. Um, well, the more I realize how good it is, is a better way to say it. Um, one is to slow the game down a bit. Uh, once, like I said, once you turn into a cat, counts as a hit, which is hella important. Um, so they run around injured when they turn back into human form. Number two is they can't do anything. So they can't work on card holders. They can't be healed from the cat state. They're just stuck as a cat for however long. Um, and number three is, um, her perk setup, uh, she has the ability to see the cats, like see where they're running further. And she also have the ability to, whenever a cat gets near another gambler, you'll see the other gambler. And she has no idea where I'm at right now. Um, and you'll see the other gambler. So the cat will reveal other gamblers to you. So that way you can um, teleport to cut people off or teleport on top of people when they're doing certain things. She has no idea I'm behind them. Yeah, poor guy. But um, so so that's the purpose of the cat, and it's a range attack, which is really good. Like as you see, he's running away. I can't close the distance; it's impossible. Benny Killer on this game, well, devil or demon, devil demon, whatever. We're gonna say killer just because I can't remember the correct term. Um, to close the distance, the only one that even comes close is uh the corpse with his charge attack. But once again, they can still somewhat almost outrun it if they have a, a good enough head start. So. You can't really bet the farm on landing a corpse charge attack or a corpse charge attack catching up so you can get a hit. Once you swing and they dead heart out the way, you're screwed. Um, that brings you to another point. Someone's talking about, you know, this game's too because they have infinite dead heart. Well, you have to learn how to play it. You know, dead heart is like on DVD, dead heart is a good perk, but at the same time, once you learn how to play against it uh, or you just out mind game somebody on a dead heart, you can either hit them before they use their heart or either they use their heart too early and they get hit. Um, there are recovery frames to the dodge. They can't just spam dodge forever and never be touched. Um, you just have to learn because you have different swings, just like in DVD, you have short swings, you have long swings, you have charge swings. So you gotta learn like what to do. I don't know why I didn't just turn into okay. I don't know why I stopped. You see, like he's, I body block. Unlike DVD, I can body block somebody in the corner. Oh, the good old days. DBD used to be able to do that. You could body block somebody in the corner and just beat them down. But then they changed it where you couldn't. But yeah, so um, so the infinite dead heart is not that big of an issue. Definitely with this killer because you can just turn him into a cat. I can turn him into a cat two times and they're down. So they can dead heart to the heart's content. 
and this this kid was able to play around the prince um not so much but he does have the element of surprises that he can get rid of his heartbeat if you, as long as you know where they are the corpse uh you have to learn how to use his charge ability correctly to uh play around the the spammery of the dodge but you know once again it's just the nuances and it lets me know that my community is not really 100 percent sure on how this game works it's just going off of dbd copy if it works like dbd then all this stuff has to be op and it's like eh, not really it's like you would think that but no not at all um so and oh uh another concept that came up somebody said this is like freddy in all honesty if freddy was anything near this that dude was stuck in the bear trap by the way if you're wondering why he was just sitting there he was stuck in the bear trap if freddy's ability was to let's say he has to host his power on someone for four seconds and it puts him in the dream world and they were in the dream world for let's say 15 seconds and during this 15 second time they couldn't do anything or let's just say his, his ability was put people in the dream world right and for 15 seconds in the dream world they can't do anything that would make Freddy a god. Just because, like, the ability to not be able to do something. The double bell. Disgusting. Disgusting. Oh, bro. I could I, I could have. I wanted to body block both of them, but uh, I couldn't. She popped the hill and then I turned into a cat, so she pretty much just wasted the hill. Pretty good. Um, we had the ability to pretty much stop the gamblers from doing any type of objective for any amount of time is huge. And if Freddy could do that, not slow him down, just stop them from doing the objective. It would, it would immensely make Freddy like, I'm not going to say a top tier killer, but a lot better than what he is now. Um, like I said, I've played more since we recorded this video and I've ran into, I want to say I have two or three other really good games. One game where it came down to one gen or one card holder. And uh, I was able to uh, cat, cat the person as they were healing their down teammate. And uh, that won me the game because they were injured at the time. Um, and then I have another game uh, when it, it was a 1v1 and I pretty much show you why the cat is important. <laughs> Like turning people into the cat because I can still track the cat with the to give you a tidbit of why I can still track the cat with the coin. Like when I go and see the all seeing coin thing or whatever, it shows me where cats are too. So I still know where they are on the map. And so it just, you, you'll see, you'll see. It's just, it's just amazing. You're like, wow, this is a really well thought out implemented feature you have here. And it is a lot stronger than you would think. Um, so, um, I think that's pretty much all I want to talk about. Uh oh, body block, body block. Wow, his hat was in, inside of me. Oh, he healed. Well, oh, that's unfortunate. He dead hard into the wall. He dead hard passed me into the wall. Poor guy. I like that hat though. Oh, oh yeah, and to the douchebag who said, uh, I bet you he does YouTube and still gets EBT. Um, I wish, brother. I, I wish, look, I don't know. Maybe you're the type of guy who if you see $200 laying on the ground, you walk by it um, because you're too good for it. Uh, but trust me, if the government wanted to give me $200 a month for, for free food, I would gladly take it. But sadly, even before I was doing YouTube, didn't get it. Um, and now that I do, do, do YouTube, don't get it. I mean, I, before I started doing YouTube, I had a job to pay me $35 an hour. So trust me. Just with my wife's income alone, we can't get food stamps. But A for effort on trying to be ignorant and silly. But like I said, if you're the type of person that if there was $200 laying on the ground for you once a month to buy food with and you would, you're you too good to pick it up, I mean, it must be nice, brother. I mean, I don't know what you do for a living, but, you know, can you put me on? Because <laughs> I would gladly take some, uh, oh, wow, this is going to be a juicy play. I would gladly take some free uh, food every month just for uh, showing up. Oh, I got no one there? Wow. I wish you could cat multiple people, though. That's the, only, that's the only thing I don't like. I don't think you can. I've tried it several times. I do not think that I can cat multiple people. Like, I've literally been standing at two people simultaneously, and uh, nothing happened. 
Well, one of them get turned and one of them doesn't. So I'm I'm confident like having two people is is impossible. But um, so yeah, so um, probably one of my solo state games. I'm, I'm gonna do this more. I'm just read comments. Oh wow, if I if I did this correctly, this is a double down. I think I kind of messed up. Look at the range though. Look at the range. That's so strong. It's plus it's like she was in the smoke of the. Uh, Snow as well too, so it was kind of smoky. And I was still able to get that off. That's just insanely strong. It's pretty much like a uh, laser beam. I just have to keep it on them. I don't have to actually like, you know, aim it too too good. Just gotta keep it on them for a little while. I keep on that stank on them. But uh, yeah, so um, I was just thinking of something different and new to do with the channel. And uh, I, you know, after I read some of the comments, I was like, you know, I kind of gotta explain this to people because I don't think. They know what the fuck's going on, which means they're like saying like silly stuff, which are like sparking up most silly stuff in the channel. So it's like maybe I should kind of explain to them how this works because, you know, I've played this game for a bit. I think I got like 100 hours in maybe. Um, So, you know, I can I can tell them what, what what's really going on and, and be, you know, semi accurate in what I'm saying. Not like 100 percent, but around like. 83. 83 is a good strong number. Um, so yeah, so that's what kind of sparked this, and, and we're gonna do it more. Um, I'm, I have some some plans and some ideas, some things I want to do on the DVD side of things, as, like uh, for my killer gameplays. And uh, since you guys seem interested, um, and I can actually get games, because I enjoy this game a lot. It's a nice um, breather away from DVD. And there are certain aspects I do like about it, certain aspects I don't. Obviously, the skipping around the whole fucking game because, you know, I'm playing on Shanghai servers is annoying, but I mean, you know, that's what I got to do to play the game. That's what I got to do to play the game. All right. Ooh, -wee, and that's a ball game. So, yeah, we turn into a cat just for, just for the lows. Because you actually get less money for turning people into a cat than you do for hitting them. That's also something to consider too uh, when you start playing the game. If you just run around turning people into cats, you're, you're actually gonna receive less money to buy uh, your upgrades than if you were just hitting them. So keep that in mind. At least I think you receive less money. Felt like it. The last time I went to a shop and I was short, and the shop owner looked at me and I looked at him and I was like, yo, you got me though, right? <laughs> well guys, I hope you enjoyed this gameplay hope you enjoyed this whole let's talk about while i talk about certain things that were common on videos and i'll go over them with you to help you understand like the who's what's and the why's and i look forward to doing this again with you guys please uh leave a like down below let me know what you think and uh you guys have a great day as always peace to you later